Before we get down to solving this question, let us look at something that will help us solve many questions of this kind little bit more easily where we can do it mentally. Suppose I have two points A and B, the potential here is VA and the potential there is VB. We know how to calculate the potential drop from A to B. VAB we know is VA minus VB. Now if VA and VB are known, this helps us calculate what is the potential drop. But often what happens is you know this value and you know the potential drop. The potential drop is known and we want to find the potential of the other point. We can easily do that by taking this around here. We can write VB is VA minus VAB. Just a simple algebraic manipulation, right? But let's think about what is this saying. It is saying that the potential at B is equal to the starting potential VA minus the potential drop VAB. Okay, so you start at A with some value and you are dropping by VAB. So basically you are subtracting VAB. That's what will lead you to VB. So what is VB? Starting potential minus the drop. That's all. So VB is VA minus VAB turns out to be very useful when we are solving problems. Let us now look at this question. A, B, C and D are four points in space and it is known that VAB is 8 volts, VBD is minus 9 volts, VCA is 13 volts. So what is given are all the potential drops. Potential at A is also given and we want to find the potential at D. Let us clear up the space. Okay, and always draw the points, always draw a diagram that will help you solve the problem. Okay, so A, B, C, D, they are the four points in space. V, A, B is 8 volts. So if I go from A to B, the drop is 8 volts. Okay, V, B, D is minus 9 volts. So from B to D, the drop is minus 9 volts. V, C, A is 13 volts. So from C to A, it is 13 volts. And the potential at A is given. The potential at A is minus 5 volts. So VA is minus 5 volts. I want you to keep in mind that this is the potential at that point. These are not potentials at a point. These are potential drops from that point to this point. From this point to this point, 8 volts. From this point to this point, minus 9 volts. These are potential drops, whereas this is the potential at A. What is the question? Find the potential at D. So I want to know what is the potential here. Well, this point's potential is minus 5. What will be the potential here? Well, potential at B, how much is this? VB is potential at A minus the drop. Potential at A minus the drop. So minus 5 minus 8. So potential at B is minus 13 volts. Right? So this is minus 13 volts. But the question is actually potential at D. How will I find that? Well, I know this potential is minus 13 and you are dropping by minus 9. So potential at D is this potential, the starting potential minus 13 minus the potential drop minus of minus 9. So minus 13 plus 9 is minus 4. So the potential at D, VD is minus 4 volts. Is that clear? So by using this idea that potential at A minus the potential drop gives you potential at B, that helps us quickly go from A to B, find the potential here, then from B to D, find the potential at D. We could have of course solve this also by writing a bunch of equations. We could have said let B's potential be X and then we can say VA minus VB. So we can say minus 5 minus X is equal to 8, right? That will be the first equation. And then this drop is minus 9. So X minus of this potential, which I don't know, I'll call it as D is equal to minus 9. Well, if you add these two, you can see that the X cancels out. Minus 5 minus D is equal to minus 1. Minus 5 minus D 
is minus 1 and so if I take d to that side etc and solve it from this I will get d is equal to minus 5 plus 1 minus 4 volts right you get the exact same answer but you have to write a bunch of equations for this I wouldn't advise that you should start with this I would say from A to find potential at B very simple potential at B is potential at A minus the potential drop right so it's useful to keep this in mind so you know this potential so this minus 8 volts gives me this potential this minus minus 9 volts gives me that potential very very simple way to calculate potentials from potential drop 